So now let's quickly look at SAP. SAP is a uh, very prominent example of ERP systems. Um, it started with a special development for enterprise resource planning uh, on the on the on, on on the former technology platform. Um, the SAP R2, which is um, actually one one software as the of the of the more modern approach, uh, is present since 1982. Um, first, it was without a graphical user interface. That means that you did not have any buttons to perform the functions. You just uh, were able to um, use text commands or uh, text-based menus. And it was not comparable to the ERP systems, which are nowadays popular in companies. Um, then there was the SAP R3 system. Uh, it uh, started in 1992. And the R3 uh, actually is still used in companies um, because uh, it's, it's quite a high reliability of these systems. Then there follow some, some generations of, uh, of other uh, SAP versions like uh, until 2003, the MySAP. Uh, version. It was more focused on e-commerce solutions, uh, so um, it was somehow related to this uh, new economy phase. And uh, nowadays we are working with uh, uh, version 7, ERP System 7, and uh, this has still an, a central ERP component. It has integration tools like the subnet Weaver. And uh, what is special for SAP is that there are many industry specific components, um, like components for healthcare, if you're in the healthcare industry, discrete manufacturing, if you produce um, certain products in a discrete way, um, utilities for utilities companies um, providing uh, for example, um, electricity or water for consumers or companies. So as I said, we are now with version 7 of the SAP system. And uh, there in uh, different central compu components are present like logistics, financial accounting, human resources, um, making, so to say, the core of the ERP system. Integration tools, as there is in the Weaver, and uh, what is uh, what is a uh, very important asset of an SAP system is that there are best practices inside, so you could get uh, um, knowledge about executing business purposes in a, a business process in, a, in, a, in an appropriate way by just using the functionalities, and you have best practices, so to say, implemented within the system. And these best practices are developed um, for several tens of years um, during the uh, during the overall development of the SAP system. Um, there are different extensions available for the core ERP system extensions for uh, managing your customer relationships. Um, so the customer should should be one of your uh, focus one of your focus aspects uh, to to gain your profit from. Um, you should be able to monitor your um, your suppliers and to to also manage the quality from the suppliers. Um, that's why you have a supplier relationship management. Uh, you might have to manage supply chains from uh, your supplier via your production, via maybe uh, different production facilities uh, to your customer. That's why you need a supply chain management and product lifecycle management you might need if you have complex products, 
if you um, need to manage a lot during the lifetime of such products and uh, then you can uh, use some functionalities which map to these uh, uh, maintenance activities of such complex products and many other extensions uh, focusing on different aspects uh, which might be needed in companies. Looking at this slide here shows that SAP is active in many different industries, um, starting from aerospace, over high tech, uh, public services, public sector, uh, until the wholesale distribution. Um, so SAP actually collected a lot of knowledge in very different uh, industry branches. And this is one important aspect is if you if you decide for an SAP system that you not only acquire the software, the functionalities in the software, but also the, uh, the business knowledge, the best practice knowledge about the execution of business processes, about the setup of, of business processes in many different uh, in many different uh, industry branches and therewith maybe also in your branch you are active in. On the right side there are some technical aspects like for example Subhana. Um, this is a new development of SAP. It's an in-memory database and in-memory means that you much quicker can analyze the data for uh, creating reports and uh, for maybe also controlling the business process in your company. NetWeaver, as I said before, also a, uh, in, an integration tool to bring uh, different systems together. And there are also uh, analytics uh, tools like uh, business objects offered at SAP. They uh, focus on the analysis side so you can uh, create dashboards with such an uh, analytics tool or uh, create KPIs from uh, different values in the database. If you need knowledge about uh, SAP solutions, then SAP offers the page help.sap.com and there you can find a lot of information regarding the different modules and you can see actually these best practices which uh, are uh, implemented in the SAP software.